How's it going everybody? Hello from Canada. Welcome back to another video. We're going to be finishing up with the NHL online quizzes. Uh, might take the series further and find some more quizzes online if you guys like it. So if you guys would, uh, make sure we get me, say, 15 likes. I think that's I think that's fair for me right now. If not, we're going to get into this right away. So we're going to see how much I know. It's probably not going to be a lot based on how the last quizzes have gone. But we're going to go. We're going to get this started right away. Uh, and the first answer I'm going to go with, I th I'm just going to go with Braden Point. I think that's what it is. Canadians, uh, I'm going to go with 23. Why not? Sounds like a cool number. 93. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know who half of the, I don't even know who any of these people are. I'm just going to go with Damp House. That sounds like a cool name. Score the Stanley Cup winning goal for Penguins. I think it was Hornfist, actually. It was, so hopefully that's actually right. Canadians have not won a Stanley Cup in 28 years. Longest title drop before that. It's going to go with 17. I don't know why. Who scored the only overtime goal? Uh, Shattenkirk. Sure. Uh, Hall of Famer is the all-time leading scorer, uh, Maurice Richard. I'm just gonna go with because he's literally the guy the name is or the trophy is named after. Montreal Canadiens Hall of Famer is the first to be awarded the Conn Smythe. I'm gonna go with Dryden. Uh, Lightning defeated the Islanders in the third round of the playoffs in consecutive seasons. Who was the last team to beat the same team to reach final back-to-back -back years? Okay, this is a tough one, but I'm just gonna go with Detroit because I know Detroit's been very good in their years. Two Tampa have won the Conn Smythe. I'm just gonna go with these two. Okay, I passed. I really thought I had more knowledge, but these quizzes have humbled the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought I had decent hockey knowledge, but apparently according to these, I have nothing. Okay, regardless, let's move on. Guess the goal horn. Why not? All right, 2018-19 regular season quiz. Because the goal horn one just did not want to work. Alex Ovechkin became the highest scoring Russian born player ever this NHL season. Who did he pass? Fedorov. Uh, what player recorded a hat trick in his native Finland? Koivu. Oh no, this season, I'm dumb. Line it. NHL played regular season games, four different countries. That's a lot of countries. Go with these four. Sure. Scored 24 seconds. Oh, actually, sure. Carry Price pass. They become Canadian's all time leader. Dryden or Plant? I'm gonna go with Plant. Actually, no, what am I saying? I'm gonna go with Wah. Storm Surge. Okay. Very obvious. Carolina Hurricanes. If you guys don't know about the Storm Surge, then you guys are actually fake hockey fans. Uh, who is named All Second MVP? Um, Crosby. Sure. Came first woman. This is Kendall Coin Schofield. That one I know for sure. What two arenas do the Islanders use as a home venue? Barclays and Nassau. Brian Gibbons played under four coaches this season. What? Jesus. I'm just going to go with these four. I don't know who they are, though. NHL visited China. I feel like it was LA and Vancouver, but that's probably wrong. And base on how I've done for the last little while on these quizzes. I'd say there's a 99% chance that's wrong. And if you somehow know that, let me know down in the comments and drop a thumbs up if you do. Even if you don't know it, give me a thumbs up too. But Flyer set a record for goalies used. Oh God, I think they use, they use a lot. I'm just gonna go with second highest. Kucherov, passed, who? For the Lightning single season points. Cavalier, I think. De Derek Broussard, three teams. Penguins, Panthers, Blues, sure, let's go with that. I know he played for the Penguins at some point. I don't know if it was a lot. I don't know if it's 2018, 19, a couple years out of that, you know. And uh, COVID years kind of made it feel like 10 years ago. So it's not actually three, it's more like eight. NHL recently announced a number of outdoor games, including this one. There's a stadium that's just straight up called Energy. Okay, uh, but I'm going to go with AT&T. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers, I actually don't know any football stadiums, by the way. So that's a complete and utter guess. I genuinely don't think I can name you one football stadium in all of the US. Another, another little comic game. Drop a, drop a name of a football stadium down below. I'm, in I'm interested to see what they are. Philadelphia Flyers competed in an epic comeback. Um, Couturier. Actually, no, I feel like it was Vorchek. The man with the beard, Vorchek. Day of the 2018-19 NHL trade deadline featured a uh, total. Centers? Maybe? I don't know. Moves together to put their longest. Okay, we're just going to go 18, sure. Sports did not inspire. There was a football, for sure. There was a curling. There was a basketball. What stunts did Gritty pull? I don't remember, so I'm just going to go with a flash mob. How many seasons has Ovechkin scored? 59. Oh, wait, no, at this point, I think it was eight or seven, because that was a few years ago. Second in the NHL in points this year was, I think this is the year Kucherov had like 130. So I'm going to go with McDavid. NHL history and make the playoffs. Considering the Blues won the cup this year, that's insane. What date did John Tavares score against his former team, the Islanders? Uh, the date that they all started booing him because they are salty. I'm just going to go with I feel like it's pretty early in the season, so I'm just gonna go with nothing above. Which team clinched the final playoff spot? Carolina, maybe? No, Columbus. It was Columbus. Duh. So close to passing. I'm pretty consistently around 50% though. Because I suck, but I don't suck enough to get zero except for that one time. But that that time doesn't count. Because I also got an 100 that time too, so kind of counteracting. You know that averages out to a 50, yeah. All right, on to the next one. I think the next one's the last one. 
Nope, I lied. There's two left. This one's going to be pretty good, though. Guess that NHL pop. I love dogs. And if you don't love dogs, I don't know what to say. If you don't love dogs, or at least like them a little bit, you're a weird person. I'm going to say that for sure. Unless you've had a bad experience, then I'll, I'll give you a pass. All right, guess that NHL pop. Uh, aside from calling people weirdos for not liking dogs, let's get into this quiz. Uh, who is this? I have no idea. We're just going to go with... I feel like Boots is a weird name for a dog. I feel like there's more of a cat name. I'm just going to go with Smash. Pup is having so much fun up north. This could literally be any of these three. We go Flambo, just because it's a cool name. Uh, guess that pop. Okay. This one, I think, is Rangers. No. Barkley. I'm going to go with the Blues. Because it very, looks very similar to Cappy. Um, another Yellow Lab. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. We're just going to go with Ranger. First year Pop is hoping to make a big splash with this team. That's the Senators. Pop's been spotted in two home arenas this season. Oh, the Islanders one. Yeah. Duh. 406. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad. I, I literally just flipped Ranger and Barkley. But if I didn't, then I got 100%. I'll take it. I like that. I like dogs. So, makes sense. All right. On to the last one. Guess that NHL smile. This should be another one like the draft day pictures. Uh, that is Crosby. And I should get most of them, if not all. Uh, this, probably lunch fist. This one is not PK. I'm going to go with Malcolm. This is Ovechkin. That's obvious. This is Doughty. Okay, we're flying through this. Gretzky, okay. I can tell by the, the little flow as well. Flurry. I got it. Let's go. We're flying through this. This one's Mario Lemieux. This one, Messier, I think. Let's go. This one, oh my god. Spartacat, I guess? Sure. Who did I get wrong? Oh, it was Burns. It wasn't Doughty. Well, 9 out of 10 ain't bad. Makes up for it. <laughs> Makes up for the, the really poor showings before, but it's fine. I'll take it. So I got 4 out of 6. I got 9 out of 10, 12 out of 25. And then I got, what is it? 6 out of 12 or something. So I got a 50. I got a 40 something. I got a 75 and I got a 90. I'll take it. Overall, that means my average is pretty decent, actually. It pulls me up to like, I don't know, something around 70-ish. Something like that. Regardless, thank you guys all for watching. This is the last of the NHL.com quizzes. But if you guys would like me to find more online hockey quizzes, I would happily do so. Uh, just let me know down in the comments below. And if you're new around here, do subscribe, please. It'll help me out a lot. Uh, th hit that thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment of anything else you guys might have thought throughout the video. If you guys saw something cool, if you guys saw something that you were like, huh, what? Let me know. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.